Good morning, welcome to Grain TV. It's July 19, 2012. I'm Logan Burgess. Joining me is my writer, Brock Shimano. Well, Brock, this morning we did have export sales reported here. Let's take a look at what we saw. Kind of disappointing for corn and soybeans. As you can see, old crop sales of 32,000 metric tons out of corn. That's pretty weak here. The trade is expecting around 300 to 400,000 metric tons for the corn there this week. Beans, also missing the low mark there, 135,000 metric tons. Wheat was really the only bright spot here, actually exceeding what the trade is expecting, coming in about 589,000 metric tons. That was on the high side of uh, analyst expectations here. So, you know, as we have the corn complex approaching $8, soybeans is pushing higher. You know, the demand side of the scenario is really going to be brought into question. Weaker export demand certainly is an indicator that demand may be waning. We also saw some data come out yesterday for out of the ethanol complex. I know you took a little bit of a closer look there. What are we kind of looking at here? Yeah, we did see ethanol production last week hit, uh, the, for the weekend being July 13th, hit the lowest point since uh, June of 2010, the first right. reporting period that they, that they made by the EIA in, institution. Uh, as you can see, we're down 2.3% from last week, but a whopping 8.1% since last year. So that's right. starting to be a very concerning across the country for ethanol production. Another concerning point on the ethanol front is the stocks actually increased by 24,000 barrels last week, up 12 one hundredths of a percent. So not a big change in the stocks, but we are starting to go from negative stock numbers actually adding to that stock numbers now. So that's going right. to be something we have to pay attention to moving forward. A number that I'd like to pay attention to is how many bushels of corn were used in ethanol production last week. Only 85 million bushels were used compared to 101 uh, million bushels that is needed to meet the USDA expectations. So we're quite a bit below what is needed to meet the expectations at this point. All right. Well, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Another thing that you and I saw come out yesterday on the uh, from Thomson Reuters, actually, this is kind of an interesting chart here to take a look at. Basically shows the relationship between corn per bushel and ethanol production. And as you can see here, during July, we have a huge divergence here. The corn market really started rallying as dry dry conditions persisted across much of the corn belt. And as a result here, we have uh, ethanol production really waning here. Kind of adding to this is crude oil, which has been trading down pretty sharply here in recent weeks as the, as the Eurozone situation kind of makes an overall contraction uh, of the commodity prices there recently until, I guess, this, this big weather market here that we've entered. But that's kind of an interesting uh, stat to look at there. We'll certainly have to keep an eye on the demand side of the situation here moving forward. We have a lot of fundamental news come out here in recent weeks. Brock, let's hop into fire tip. What, uh, what's the market doing this morning? Yeah, as you can see here, corn is actually up nine and a half cents on the old crop. New crop is up three and three quarters. Soybeans up 40 cents on the old crop. New crop is up 28 and three quarters. Wheat in Chicago up 21 cents. And Kansas City wheat up 19 cents. Crude oil, take a look, up $2.17 this morning. Yeah, Brock, so it looks like the grains are taking a little bit of a rebound here. As you can see right now, we got uh, that old crop corn trading above $8. $8 should really be a, a battle zone here as we go through the rest of the trade day. Uh, Brock's actually going to be on AgWeb Radio here this afternoon with Al Pell for the market close, so you can go over to agweb.com and catch him there. I think that kind of wraps up our show here for Thursday morning. Thanks a lot for joining us.